Kaioryu. Kai Kaioryu. The last game of the night is Kaioryu. Kaioryu. There we go. I got it. Finally, it took me long enough. <laughs> Okay, guys, if you guys don't know anything about this game, which I'm sure you don't, um, this is a game by Floating Rock Studio. Uh, this game takes place in post-apocalyptic Japan, and you are the son of a genetically modified samurai dinosaur. Need I say more? Lame. Is you seriously think it's lame? I don't know. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I just didn't find much on it. Um... And truthfully, it didn't really grab my attention, to be honest. Okay. I felt like it was a... Uh, did you ever... You saw the game Stray. And the people love the game Stray. Yeah, this is Stray, but you're a T-Rex. But when we roll the trailer... Let's you go ahead and roll it. the trailer. How, how does how does being, how does does Stray as a T-Rex not sound fun to you? I guess. I don't know. I mean... I don't know. Okay. Go for it. Go guys, for it. Guys, if you guys are just listening, what we're looking at right now is a very uh, cyberpunky uh, po post apocalyptic Words are hard. Post-apocalyptic Japan. Uh, and you are literally running through the streets. I think this is the coolest part. This looks a lot like I Am Legend. So, like, it is very post-apocalyptic uh, yeah. where everything's kind of overgrown, but you're still within the city and, like, the neon lights are on and everything, and I love that. Um, and you're the T-Rex and you're kind of, it's kind of showing it right now that the, there's kind of three separate phases of this game. Number one, you're going to have to be really stealthy at, at parts. Number two, um, is traversal where you're going to be running away from things. And then number three is obviously a combat system. Um, but I think with this game, one of the things we're really kind of noticing here is that it feels like it's going to be very story driven so almost like cinematic and the, dev the the devs have actually said that this is going to be a very cinematic kind of um journey yeah. i guess is kind of the way that they put it where there is going to be like a very extensive story behind this so much so that they almost thought about turning this into a show as well hmm. um but I mean, honestly, I, I'll be honest, I don't have a ton to say about it because we don't have a ton of information on it. But I just think the idea looks cool. I mean, you're it's basically straight and you're a T-Rex and you're in post-apocalyptic Japan. I, just, I don't know. I just think it's like kind of a cool idea. I think it's a cool idea. I guess maybe I didn't give it a shot when I first saw it, but I don't know. I, I didn't really... Maybe it's... I don't know. When I first saw this game, there's a game that you can play as dinosaurs, like, but it's a PvP, and you can, like, the more other dinosaur, prehistoric animals that, like, fight each other, the more you eat, the bigger you get. And that's kind of what I thought it was, especially with, like, when you saw uh, Tori is the dinosaur you're playing as. And I saw Tori, like, sneaking past. I thought that was, like, like those uh, NPCs were actually PvP players. And then I read the description. And I was like, okay, so this is more a single player narrative game, but without like narration. Like it's just probably gonna be like stray. It was just you just go along, push through the story, but I don't know. It though it just didn't catch my eye as much as it probably could. I thought the like you said, the the setting was really cool. It's very aesthetic, like looks good, and I think that aspect looks fun, but to me the game just isn't intriguing enough to me if that makes sense and it's not because it looks bad it's just i don't know i'm just not there it, it i mean I'll, I'll be honest it's probably not for everybody but if you were a fan of stray i think you, this is probably a game that you're really gonna like um dinosaur wise i mean i just anything i love dinosaurs dude so anything where your main character is a dinosaur like i'm down um the setting you know i love that cyberpunk kind of look also it's like cyberpunk meets i am legend where it's the, you're you're in the middle of this metropolis but everything's overgrown so i love the setting i love the idea behind it with like the sneakiness and like the running traversal kind of combating at some point so it doesn't feel like it's going to get stale and then just having like a nice story driven narrative like you also know like I love games like Until Dawn and stuff like that, where it's really story focused, almost like playing a movie. And I feel like that's probably what this game is going to be like. It's going to be a good mix of play the game, watch the story, play the game, watch the story. And I'm kind of fine with that. And honestly, just kind of like looking at this on Steam, it doesn't feel like it's going to be a very expensive game. And it feels like another game that's probably going to be like 15 bucks. So like, 
15 to 20 dollars to be play stray as a t-rex get a cool story get to vibe out for a little bit see some cool you know locations some settings and like i don't know i just thought it was an interesting game and i didn't think it got a lot of love so something something to bring to the table i think there's definitely a market or a big interest for this game because when i would looked at the trailer like looking at i look at the view counts a little bit they had some like huge view counts on this trailer and i thought that was really cool and the game has been in development for at least two years like i looked at their youtube page and they have tons of videos of like their character models the changes they've made so they're putting time into this game they're not just like hey i want to make a dinosaur game they're really putting work into it to make it a good game and you could see that with the the way the dinosaurs move the interaction of the dinosaurs and the amount of dinosaurs you saw that like when they were running in that chase kind of scene like those huge dinosaurs and then here comes his dad like hum num num just like tears those other dinosaurs apart i don't know these specific dinosaur names so i'm sorry that i'm just saying dinosaurs a thousand times but that's cool like i think it's really well done it's just not a game that i think is gonna fit for me and i don't know how big the audience will be for it but based off what i'm seeing on the trailer and the 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 channel itself there is a good audience for it. And I don't know if I'm 100% sure on this story, so guys, don't quote me here because it really is kind of hard to find information about this game, even from the developer. But the the basic idea here, I believe, um, is that a lot like Jurassic Park, um, humanity has figured out a way to bring dinosaurs back, and then they've also genetically modified them to like make them smarter and, like, less aggressive to to be like in you know to to function in today's world but then some event happens and obviously japan becomes post-apocalyptic and although these dinosaurs are genetically modified without the existence of people they're kind of reverting back to their wildness you know what i mean like that wild yeah the wild natural instincts are kind of coming back out of them so it's like that's how this that's how these dinosaurs got into the middle of the city which is you know kind of like if you're wondering why the hell are there dinosaurs in japan like that's where it kind of came from on you know just to have this idea i thought it was really interesting and you know they obviously put a lot i think they put a lot behind the story because they were also talking about kind of doing a tv show that along with this that would kind of pair up with the game and stuff like that and i'm not sure if they're still doing that idea but just having that idea in the first place kind of tells me like hey, for a $15 game, for a $20 game, they probably put a lot of thought into this, and it's going to it's gonna be a pretty decent story, and it's going to play well. So, like I said, if you guys are interested, check it out. Uh, Kori Oru, I feel like... Yeah, I, you just butchered that one. Yeah, Kaiori? Kaioriu? 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 Who knows? Let us know in the comments how bad <laughs> we're butchering that. Uh, yeah. One more thing I'd like to say. It's kind of a... We said it's like Stray, like Jurassic Park, but it's also like Planet of the Apes. <laughs> kind of yeah yeah <laughs> yeah they're smashing a bunch of things together but again it looks good i think it's it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun for the people that it intrigues um but yeah let us know in the comments i don't have much else to say on it dave do you have anything else to say not much else to say just a game to keep on your guys radar if you guys were fans of stray um check this one out because it's literally stray as a t-rex and i think if you were a fan of stray you're gonna be a fan of this one so keep it on the radar right now i'm gonna give it um kind of a three quarter thumb i'm like almost there i just want to i want to i want to check price right so for for 15 bucks we're thumbs up if the, this comes out and miraculously it's like 40 dollars, we're gonna start going the other way but but we'll we'll see when it drops <laughs>